Hello. After Paul wrote about the glorious mercy of God, who has offered up the gift of salvation through the forgiveness of sins to everyone who will believe, he wrote these words. Our text for today is taken from the book of Romans, chapter 12, verses 1 through 8. A living sacrifice. The apostle wrote, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Gifts of grace. For by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body we have many members, and the members do not all have the same function, so we, though many, are one body in Christ, and individually members one of another. Having gifts that differ according to the having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us use them. If, if prophecy in proportion to our faith, if service in our serving, the one who teaches in his teaching, the one who exhorts in his exhortation, the one who contributes in generosity, the one who leads with zeal, the one who does acts of mercy with cheerfulness. So far, our text. According to God, our spiritual worship of him does not only occur on Sunday mornings at church, no, but rather our worship to God is extended to include every aspect of our daily lives. In other words, everything that we do in this new life that we have received from God should be offered up to him as a living sacrifice. I think of it this way. Since God has graciously given to us an eternal life to be spent with him forever, then we should be willing to love and to serve him with everything that we have and everything that he has given to us today. What does this look like? Well, our text continues with Romans chapter 12, verses 9 through 21. Marks of the true Christian. The apostle wrote, Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. 
Never be wise in your own sight. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. But to the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by so doing, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. So far, our text. <laughs> 